they went to go, it was they they went to go copping them blue rags and hockey sticks out there, man. Listen to us every week. Yeah. Listen, I hey, sitting me down with somebody from the other side caused me to lose it. Mm-hmm. I, I thought I was gonna be able to handle the uh backlash of us being together. I never thought that. Uh, and I don't give a fuck. I sit next to it. It's not my decision that you're not here on a Tuesday or whatever. Yeah, case that, that, was, not saying that was me. And yeah. I had that conversation with yeah. him. Like he said, we don't we don't make that decision. We nah. either we cool with it or you know I saying? gave you a call right before I saw DW and I or actually I think right after, mm-hmm. and then I gave you a call like right after as well. So it's like yeah. you know this was my. Decision in terms of like what was going on here. So this is not like a brick baby hating on DW. Yeah. Here we go again with brick baby. So brick baby is now admitting that there was a lot of backlash from being on the other side of the table with DW flame. Brick baby is clearly not realizing how inconsistent he is, but the way that he says that he makes no decisions and everything is out of his hands is exactly why brick baby loses respect daily. Why not just pick a side and stand on that side? Brick goes from acting like he's the man at no jumper to quickly admitting that he's on the same level as Lush, and Lush is just making his comeback after a bad couple of crash outs. But the way that Brick Baby seems confused and worried, to the point where Adam had to let us know that this was all on Adam and Brick Baby had nothing to do with it, seems very fishy. But this is the home of content over everything where they openly admit to writing scripts into their shows to boost up views.